name's Will Erickson from Momentum Academy. In this short video, I will talk about Bubble.io's official certification exam uh, and what it is like and why you should consider doing it. So, to start with, I've been teaching Bubble as a bootcamp instructor and a MERS instructor. I've also been teaching through Momentum Academy uh, through a program that I've created. And so I've had a lot of experience mentoring people one-on-one -on -one in groups and I've seen a lot of different students and the things they struggle with. Uh, I've also worked as an agency leader, so I've been managing a team of up to about 10 Bubble developers. Uh, I've been working as a developer and working on complicated projects. Uh, and so I came into the, the, to the exam thinking, well, I should be able to kick this thing out, out of the, hit this thing out of the park. Surely it's going to be quite easy. Um, I was actually given the opportunity to give feedback to the team uh, as one of the beta testers for the exam. And so I was really privileged to do that um, and also to have a chat with Jeremy and the team at Bubble about the exam. Uh, but here are my observations. Here are the things I, I think that you need to be aware of. So number one, the test was really hard. Um, as I did it, I just thought, oh man, there's just stuff here that you know had me scratching my head. There might be some features that I hadn't really used. There were some questions that I thought, you know, the, the wording was designed to really put, push you into one way or the other. Um, and so I just, I just found it quite challenging. That being said, you can take the time to build small proof of concepts during the exam. You can take the time to read the manual and doing those strategies, you can pretty much get most of the answers right so long as you are an experienced developer. The next thing was the test really focused on bubble. So you might be a product manager or a designer and you have a bit of bubble skills, but this test is really for people that have plumbed the depths of bubble. They've understood all of the features and they've really used them in real life projects. So you need to have focused on bubble if you want to sit this exam and you need to have a really deep knowledge of a lot of the elements of bubble. The third thing was, I thought the test was quite fair. Um, I didn't feel like it was um, too easy or too hard. I didn't feel like the questions were trying to trick you. Uh, I just thought that the, the questions appropriately assess each of the functional areas of Bubble, whether that's user interface, um, workflows, uh, database structures, security and privacy, backend workflows, API integrations, all of these things feature heavily and they're all really core components. Uh, and I think it's fair to say that testing all of these components is what you would expect of a really competent bubble developer. The fourth observation is that this test is a useful tool for recruitment. So if you are looking for a bubble developer, um, look for one with this um, certification on their CV or their resume. Um, if you are a developer, then strongly um, consider getting this certification onto your resume it will serve you really well in looking for jobs moving forward. So, in conclusion, Bubble's new certification exam is a really valuable addition to the Bubble ecosystem and it will really help developers uh, differentiate themselves and it will really help people hiring or looking for a developer to see people who have that official stamp of credibility. So, thanks so much for listening. Um, we run a program that helps people to prepare for this exam. It also helps them to learn Bubble from the ground up to a professional level. That is the Momentum Academy Bubble Certification Bootcamp. So please head to momentumacademy.tech, sign up for our emails uh, for free resources and check out our program. And I hope one day that I can meet you and even do some meetings and some mentoring with you in our program. So thanks for listening. See you later.